In this video, we'll look at the Maritime Limits and Boundaries ISO 19115 metadata tools on the web. First, on ArcGIS Online, we have a hosted feature layer with associated metadata. If we start with the metadata, if we start the metadata tool, we can see what's in the various fields. So for here, for example, here's the citation, the details, keywords, etc. And you can see we can validate the metadata with using the tool here and you can see I left a few fields blank so you can see that there's showing up as being in error so here there's the definitions required so that's the for the validator so you can check your your metadata online and then you can also download the metadata here which I won't do but that's how you uh, how you do it download the XML metadata if you wish we can also delete or overwrite the metadata, but we can also view it. So I go to this tool here and save it. And then we can see the metadata here. It's all published in HTML and nicely formatted so you can see exactly what's going on. So all the information is in there. Next, we'll look at the same metadata, same record in French. So here's the hosted feature layer. And I'll look at the metadata and you can see here that it comes up and the metadata is provided in uh, in French. So for example the key la the keywords are always in English no matter which language it is but for searching purposes but the metadata is all in in uh, French. So you can see your service hydrographique du Canada. And the nice thing is you can view it same thing as before in the English We'll have a look here when it comes up. It'd be nicely formatted in HTML, so you can see it's all in uh, all in French, and no translation required. Next, we'll look at the metadata that I've loaded on the GeoPortal, the Esri GeoPortal server. So here's the GeoPortal server, and I'll just go to look at the metadata here and view the metadata. And as you can see, here's the metadata that's available on the uh, GeoPortal server.